Good morning students. Today's class we will see about the nursing process, its definition, characteristics and the steps in short. In detail we will see in the coming videos. So here we will see the just the steps, what are the, just name the steps and the definitions. So nursing hard originated the term nursing process in 1955 and Johnson in 1959. Orlando in 1961 and Maiden in 1963 were among the first to use it to refer to a series of phases describing the practice of nursing. Since then, various nurses have described the process of nursing and organized the phase differently. The purpose of nursing process is to identify a client's health status and actual or potential health care problems or needs to establish plans to meet the identified needs and to deliver specific nursing intervention to meet those needs. Nursing process is a systematic, rational method of planning and providing nursing care. Or, otherwise it is defined as, it's a series of plans, steps and actions directed at meeting the needs and solving the problems of the patient. More specifically, nursing process is systematic problem solving. Characteristic of nursing process Nursing process has distinctive characteristics that enable the nurse to respond to changing health status of the client. These characteristics include its cyclic and dynamic nature, client-centeredness, focus on problem solving and decision making, interpersonal and collaborative style, universal applicability and use of critical thinking. So first one, data from each phase provide input to the next phase. Findings from evaluation, feedback into the assessment. That means, hence the nursing process is a regularly repeated event or sequence or events that is in a cycle that is continuously changing. That means it is dynamic rather than staying at the same status. Second, nursing process is a client center. It organizes the plan of care according to the client problems rather than nursing calls. Sometimes two patients having the same disease condition may have different problems. So the nursing care to the one patient will be different to the nursing care to the other patient. Yet the medical treatment for both the patients sometimes may be the same. So, in assessment phase, the nurse collects data to determine client's habits, routines and needs, enabling the nurse to incorporate client routines into care plan as much as possible. The third characteristic is the nursing process is the adaptation of problem solving and systems theory. It can be viewed as parallel to but separate from the process by the used by the physicians or the medical model, both in process. That means it begins with data gathering and analysis. There should be a base action that means intervention and treatment on a problem statement include evaluative component. However, medical model focus on physiological systems and disease process whereas the nursing process directed toward the client response to the disease and illness. That is the main difference between a medical diagnosis and nursing diagnosis because medical diagnosis is focused with the physiological system what is going wrong with the physiological system but nursing process is mainly centered towards how a patient react to his illness. Fourth one is decision making. It is involved in every phase of nursing process. Nurses can highly creative in determining when and how use the data to make decisions. They are not bound by standard responses and may apply the skills and knowledge to assist the clients. This facilitates the individualization of nurses' plan of care. Fifth one characteristic of nursing process is it is interpersonal and collaborative. It requires a nurse to communicate directly and consistently with clients and families to meet their needs. It also requires that nurse collaborate as members of healthcare team in a joint effort to provide quality crime. Sixth, it is universally applicable characteristic of nursing process means that it is used as a framework for nursing care in all type of healthcare setup with a client of all age group. So these are the 
six characteristic of the nursing process. Now we can see the steps in nursing process. Assessment, diagnosing, planning, implementing and evaluating. These are the five steps of nursing process. We will see in short what does it mean in detail. We will see in the coming videos. First one is assessing. Assessing include collecting the data, organizing the data and validate the data and also documenting the data. So these are the four steps which include in assessing. It is collection of data, organize the data, validate the data and document the data. Second step is diagnosing. Analyze the data, identify the health problems, risk and strength, formulate diagnostic statements. The third step is planning. That means prioritize the problems or diagnosis, formulate goals, that means what we expect at the end of our care, select the nursing intervention to alleviate the symptom of the patient and try the nursing interventions. Then next is implementing, that means reassess the patient, determine the nurse need for assistance, implement the nursing interventions, supervise the delegated care, document the nursing activities. Last step is evaluating. It means collect the data related to outcome, compare the data with outcomes, relate the nursing actions to client goals and outcome, draw conclusions about the problem status. Then continue, modify or terminate the client's care plan. If, he, if, the, if the situation improves, we can still continue the same or if, the, if, if it doesn't improve, we can modify it or the symptom is gone and patient got comfort then we can terminate the care. So for example Mrs. Smitha is 28 year old married female admitted to the hospital with elevated temperature, productive cough, rapid and labor respirations. In taking history the nurse find that Mrs. Smitha had a chest inspection for two weeks and had been experiencing shortness of breath upon exertion. Yesterday she had developed an elevated temperature and began to experience pain in her lungs. Assessing the nurse, the nurse name is Manchu. Physical assessment reveals that Smitha's vital signs were temperature at 10.4 degrees Celsius, pulse is 92, restoration is 28, BP is 120 by 80 millimeter of mercury. Nurse observed that Smitha's skin is dry, her cheeks are flushed, and she is experiencing chills. Auscultation reveals inspiratory crackles with diminished breath sounds in her right lung. So diagnosing. After analysis of the data, which we got through the assessment, nurse formulate a nursing diagnosis that ineffective airway clearance related to accumulated mucus obstructing the airways. Planning. Nurse and Manju collaborate to establish goal. That is, the goal is to restore the effective breathing pattern and lung ventilation. Set outcome. Have a symmetrical expiratory exhaustion of at least 4 cm and develop a care plan that includes but it is not limited to coughing and deep breathing exercise 3 hourly, fluid intake of 3000 ml daily and daily fossil drainage. Implementing Smitha agrees to practice deep breathing and exercise 3 hourly during the day. In addition, she verbalized the awareness of need to increase her fluid intake and plan her morning activities to accommodate postural drainage. Evaluating upon assessment of respiratory exhaustion, must detect the failure of the client to achieve maximum ventilation. She and Smitha re-evaluate the care plan and modify it to increase the coughing and deep breathing exercise to two hourly. Thank you. Thank you for listening to this.